I live for my car. Can't let go of it. To live is to drive. To have it function smooth, flawless, to rise with morning and have it start. I pray to the mechanic for heat again and air conditioning. When I meet people I used to know, I'm glad to see them until I remember what I'm driving and I'm afraid they'll go outside and see me climb into that struggle buggy and laugh. I've become very proficient at keeping my car running. I visit service stations and repair shops, which is why I have a coat to wear or nice clothes or enough money each month to pay the rent. I don't like my car to be dirty. I spend Saturday morning scrubbing it down. I've promised it a new bumper and a paint job. Luckily, this year, I was able to afford registration. I dream that my car is transformed into a stylish convertible. I'm riding along happily beneath sunglasses. The desert wind kissing my face, my man beside me. We smile, we are very beautiful. Sometimes the dreams become nightmares. I'm careening into an intersection. The kids in the back seat scream, Mama! I mash down on the brake. It goes to the floor. I have frequent fantasies about running over people I don't like with my car. My car is an absolute necessity in this city of cars where you come to know people best by how they maneuver on the freeway, make lane changes, or handle off ramps. I've promised myself I will one day own a luxury model. It'll be something I can leave to my children. Till then, I'm on spark plugs and lug nuts, keeping the one I have mobile. I live for it. Can't let go of it. What to live is to try.